after our final meeting, this is what we have concluded. We as Mawe, men against women empowerment, we have concluded no septic, mm. yes. no construction of septic. Yes. Yes. In fact, that thing, no negotiation. For our own benefit. For our own benefit, we are going to supply with Kokoto. Mm. Every house, mm. hardcore. Mm. Na tunamuaga hizo maseptic, tunaziba zote, mm. we will be supplying with doors. We are going to doors. Yeah, for that to me and doors. Yeah, because we as men, tuna, eh, this is, uh, it's not good. It's mm. not good. Mm. So, in fact, even the chairman, I'm talking on behalf of them. Mm. Uh, they're very furious. Yes, mm. it's true. In what I mean, in Mangana, in fact, I'm not a Nemeske. No negotiation. Oh, yeah, Vip. Sure. Eh. Mupendeza and Quelia. A Santian Cupendeza and Kila Sigan in the issue of Kawaida. Eh, very beauty. A Sant. You know, like a Vip. Ah, and I'm Shem Shazangu. Saleo, Yali Leo, Mem Canabat. But, mm. when I mentioned it, I didn't want to be a baby. I didn't want to be a signal. I didn't want to be a signal. Uh huh. Mm. Sure. Yes, I'm going to be a Sure. Hey, you're going macho. You're going to be a mutu. 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 Mr. Waluse Munye, Mr. Landlord. You're going to be I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to I mimi ndio mwana biashara peke yake nimewahi kujulikana dunia mzima mpaka na watoto wadogo. Sasa hizi nashughulika na tata. Although tata pia alinipeleka vizuri, kuna gari mpya imeundwa iko iko Germany. Haijashuka. Inataka kufanya testing na mimi ndio nitakuwa mtu wa kwanza. Yes, niambie. Ah, so ina maana ulikuwa semaji. Em, unajua vile nimekuona moyo wangu ukateleza. Aha. Na nikajua Tunaweza tuka communicate mimi na wale. Eh, uko na mtu? Ha, naitwa Shosti Shilole. Yaani ukiulizia yeye mta ndio natamba. Shosti Shilole. Siju tukiongezea kwa Mr. Waluse siju ndio itakuwa vipi? Itakuwa Shilole Shosti. Ah, fresh. Eh, Waluse. So Mr. Waluse sina mtu. Hmm. Napenda nga watu type yako na sindangi na watoto wadogo. Hmm. As in wewe ni type yangu, napenda wazee kama wewe. <laughs> Alafu kwanza hizo ndevu. <laughs> hey, zinanimaliza tu. Ani upo sawa kabisa upo fresh. Mm, sasa mimi saa hizi bila nikuambia. Ndio nilikuwa naenda kuangalia ile ile nyumba yangu nilijenga juzi ya 48 billion. Iko ndani ya 2 acres. Bedrooms in 59 bedrooms. Very expensive bedroom. <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah alafu iko baka na kitchens. Iko na everything. Yeah. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Mr. Luce ama Siju umesema nani? Eh, umetaja vizuri ya jina. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so nakwambiaje? Yeah, unaweza. Waze kama wewe ndio unapenda. Yeah. Manake si deal na wewe vijana wadogo wadogo. Exactly. Na sina boyfriend. So I'm vacant. Eh? Yeah. So <laughs> that means <laughs> umepata huko lucky. Mimi nilikuwa nataka nikuoe. Mr. Alusi. Yeah. Uh -huh. Umesema nyumba yako ina rooms ngapi? Oh, exactly. Nilikuwa nimekwambia iko na 59 bedrooms. Bedrooms. Oh, 59 bedrooms. Yes. Hapa <laughs> tujiongezea kitchen. Yes, yeah, zote ni precious. Na niulize, yeah. una septic tank? Eh? Mjukutu 54. Eh hey, baba. Umesikia na uliza septic hey. tank? Hey. Na hii gari bado imesimama hapa. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Eh, habari zenu? Mzuri. Eh, nimeona vacancy. Nilikuwa na tafuta nyumba. Eh, eh, Unatafuta nyumba? Mm -hmm. Nyumba ya biashara kama duka hivi ya kununua ama ya, ya kodesha ama kwa sababu mko mawili. Mm -hmm. Eh, huu ni mke wangu. Oh. <laughs> uh, residential. Oh, ya kununua. Sasa umekutana na tajiri mwenye. Ndio yule tajiri wangu. Tajiri ni yule customer mwenye nikwambia nakuja. Ah, oh, asante. <laughs> Karibu. Yeah, yeah. Karibu ni sana hapa. Okay. Ah, Asante sana. Saidi vipi? So, mm, nataka nyumba ni ya kununua. Nyumba ya residential. Oh, oh, For oh. bedroom even. 
karibu kabisa. Nyumba kama hii sasa tunauza, juzi tumeuza ile kamaliza na hii nyingine sasa hii ndio imebaki okay. na hii pale nyingi tuko na matunda uh-huh. miti ambazo tumepanda round yote ni miti za mitunda alright angalia kama hapo nje hiyo ni mnazi oh, na yes. ndani sasa ni four bedroom town yeah. ndio iko hapa okay uh, unaona aje mbona ni brochure tu mme wangu eh yeah. mm kwa hiyo utachukua basi tuchukue lakini yeah. ulizia tu ulizia tu umesema iko na rooms zote kila kitu ipo sawa aha yeah. uh-huh. umesema mm. kutaja septic tank ni moja ama mbili zipo we umesema umetaja nini septic kanyaga chini nenda 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 kanyaga chini eh wase eh poleni sana sorry kwa kwa bother eh uh, unajua wacha in fact hata i'm confused so lakini nimegundua njama ya hii mwanamke sawa so, so en sawa ni sawa sawa ununue tena nyumba ah nimewacha 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 na kwambia mmenisaidia yule hey. bwana alikuwa ameshindwa na muondokea aje ah bwana ninunua nyumba nyumba gani squeeze septic ndio mpango mzima get mm. septic tank ah amenikamilishia mambo basi <laughs> <laughs> We as men against women empowerment. Mawe we have come to a final conclusion. Hakuna negotiation tena tumemaliza kila kitu. Even the chairman is not ready to talk about it. Tunarudi kule tu kuandika tu makaratasi ya kwamba no more septic kwa nyumba zote tutajenga. Imagine sisi mabilionea na investors tunaishia kwa septic kama kuku. Ah tutakubali tena. Sasa tume come with a conclusion ya kwamba we will are going to supply every houses with no basin. Mm. ndoa za kutumia kwenda kujisaidia kama zile nyumba zilijengwa tutafunika hizo vitu within seconds yani unakuta shida ile ambayo imetokezea kwa nchi yetu hatuwezi endelea kwa sababu ya septic tank mm. tunaenda kutumia hardcore na, na asante sana ma- wanahabari mmekuja mahali hapa ya kwamba habari haya yataenea kote nchini even right now the minister of state cooperation and housing is coming mm. tunataka tukuje tumwambie ya mambo ambayo tume conclude as men of this nation the billionaires mm. sisi ndio kusema hatutakubali mm. no, 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 no more talking yeah. we are not taking questions. Questions. no yeah. comments no, no comments <laughs> Karibu kwa exclusive interview. Nami hapa Shosti Shilole ndani ya Ladha ya Mtaa TV. Leo tunamuongelea actor, comedian Mjukutu 54. Kulitokea na kisa kimoja ambapo wengi mnamfahamu Mjukutu 54 ambapo alikuwa na scandal ya ubakaji, ikaje ikasemekana amempachika mimba mwanafunzi wa shule. Hivi karibu tajua tu ni yapi ukweli ambapo wewe mwenyewe utamzungumza naye tajua ukweli unatokea wapi lakini ishu kubwa hapa ni mjukutu 54 amenua gari anamiliki gari amaacha kutembea tembea mtaani maana yake mrugu yuko mzima hana mapeni squeeze amezembea katika kazi yake lakini sasa tutaenda kumkuti tumuulize azitulize tumuulize alitoa pia ada za kununua gari maana yake kidogo inachanganya watu wenye mtama wengine ambao wanamfahamu mafani wake wanamfahamu kama mjuku Mengi tutampata tukienda kumpata mjukuu tu 54 leo tunaenda hadi kwake tunamfumania yani subiri tumfumanie mambo mambo mjukuu ah chonjo leo nimeamua kutembelea nyumbani kwako yani nimekufumania nataka nijue ah huu mjukuu anaishiishi vipi au sio maana yake mtanikuta anasema mjukuu anatembei atembei chini sikizi ana gari umetumwa na kina sule lini ah bwana yeye anataka leo unifafanulie mbona hii gari bwana ni lipi alafu tena sija kuelewa kama unavyoona yani mambo yangu sio pasai Mungu anasaidia umeona no. so yani kila hatua dua so kazi zetu hizo najua mimi ni comedian yeah. so mara mara nyingi sana napata shows usiku mbali mbali so usafiri inakuwa inakuwa kidogo yani unagafilika so ndo ndo hivyo ni mambo naona naona alafu yeah. tungependa kujua maana yake mtani gumza imezua kwa ni gari yenyewe umenua la ngapi maana yake squeeze yani mtani jina ni wewe tu mjukuu mjukuu ah ah hapo kwa hela hapo ah hela kawaida tu lakini sio kiasi kidogo msefu msefu nini nini ile mashoo kibao hai na maana squeeze unapiga hela shenzi yani kwa kampuni kubwa maana hii yo fikiri kampuni hii eh kampuni kwa hii ndio inanilisha yani lishe na nivisha tena zaidi sasa hii yani niko tu kidogo tu 
Sasa kwa unaniona tu kwenye ndege inapaa tu. Alafu sasa nikuulize mjukuu. Lakini katika show zako, yaani show moja ukialiko na lipoela ngapi? Ah. Kwa hiyo unategemea mwanzo. Kwa hiyo mimi wewe usiki kwa mungu. Maana mimi management yangu ndo ananishirikia kila kitu. Mimi naikewa tu kama ni mtaji huu. Nishaikewa lakini sio kiasi kidogo. Ni kitu ambacho mimi kwa mbani na rizika. Lakini mjukuu nikuulize unasema mambo yanaenda. Hivi kesi yako ambapo umembaka sijui ndio umembaka ama umempa umempachika mwanafunzi wa shule mimba ni ukweli. Alafu wewe wewe sasa hapo ushaniuzi. Sasa mambo uja uzito na hii interview na usika vipi? Hmm? Sasa Alafu nyinyi nyinyi yani lazima ni mpuzue kasumba yani mimi ni mjukuu. Yaani unaona mimi naweza nikafanya mambo machafu machafu kama hapo. Yaani mbona unikuharibia haribia tu watu yani master Yeye umekuja tu na maswala swala yako kizushi ya. Alafu nyinyi mnapenda sana kuharibia watu sana. Mtaku wewe mtakutandika wewe.